All right, so I actually finished up getting everybody what they need today, but the way it works in my classes is um, there is an online end of course exam that is put out by Project Lead the Way. Um, nobody gets exempted from that, that test. Now, that test is not going to be used as your final exam grade. It will be used as a quiz grade, and it'll probably be cursed. It almost always is. It's pretty hard. Um, so on exam day, there is no final exam. You're going to have uh, your final exam grade will be your semester average. But the grade you get on the online exam will be put in the grade book but it will not be one-seventh of your grade like the final exam is if I were to give a final exam. So that's my compromise. Um, and uh, in years past, I used to say, if you want a final exam, I'll give you a final exam, but uh, nobody wanted one. So, um, so here's how it works. Um, on A day, it's going to be May 20th. That's for A-Day students, and for B-Day students, it'll be May 21st. And you'll have all day. And um, to get to the test, you need an app called Kite. If you are using a district-managed Chromebook, a Chromeback, Chromebook that you got from the district, the app has been put on that Chromebook already. Um, now, you can't be logged in when you access it. You, it's just like the STAR test. You have to not be logged into your Chromebook. And um, you just open it up, and it should be in your apps. And it'll say KITE, K-I-T-E. You click on that, and then you are going to need a username and password. I have sent everyone through email their username and password. So you might want to go ahead and check it out and see if you can get on Kite and log in. When you log in, you will have access to two tests. There will be a practice test and an end of course exam. When you open the practice test, it's just going to give you a bunch of problems to play around with. When you open the end of course exam, you are going to be asked for an access code. So you're not going to get that access code until the day of the test. So you can't start the final exam, but you can play with the practice test all you want. Um, now, for those of you who have uh, district managed Chromebooks, um, everything's all set up for you, like I said. If you are not using a district Chromebook, if you're using Windows or iPad or Mac or your own Chromebook, your own personal Chromebook, then you need to install the app yourself. I put the directions in an announcement on the home page. So let me share my screen real quick here and just give you a, a glimpse. So if you go to the home page, There's an announcement at the very top that says Kite Installation Instructions. You click on that, and you can just pick whichever set of directions you need to follow for your device. Now, if you are installing on a Chromebook that's not a district Chromebook, make sure when you go to the instructions, I'll show you, you have to use the one that come underneath installing on an unmanaged Chromebook. Don't use this first part. This is the part you're going to use, installing on an unmanaged Chromebook. And it's pretty simple, pretty simple set of directions. So I would, if it was me, I would go ahead and um, check it out and get myself set up long before May 20th 
um, so that I can be prepared. And also, if you have problems, you need to let me know so we can figure out how to fix those problems. All right? Because if you don't take the exam, you're going to get a zero. Um, so that's pretty much all I have for you. Um, I'm not going to give you a new assignment today. So if if uh, you have any questions, I'll hang around to answer those, but let me stop this recording.